Hello, my name is Nicole White. Welcome to Titan TV News. This is the second episode in the October 2014. During this episode, we will be featuring a behind the scenes look at the PHS Thespian Troop Society No. 7127's performance of the Chronicles of Jane. We will also be taking a look at DECA's school store and, as always, our Man on the Street segment. Let's start with our school announcements. Term grades close on Friday, October 31st, and report cards will be administered on November 7th. The PHS freshman class will hold a bake sale on November 3rd and November 13th from 4.30 to 8.30 during the parent-teacher conferences. Sport playoffs begin in early November and schedules can be found on the Pembroke High School website. A town meeting will be held on October 28th at 7.30 at Pembroke High School. They cannot start without a quorum. Pembroke Military Support Group will hold a penny drive at Bryanville Elementary. Help out by sending any spare change and drop by the front hall where the jug is located. TTN got up close and personal with the cast of The Chronicles of Jane. Violet Krause interviewed the lead, crew members, and ensemble to talk about the thespian troupe and their unique performance. What is your name and what do you do for the play? I'm Rachel and I do the lights. I'm Jessica and I'm stage manager. I'm Kaylee Ryan. I'm Jane. I'm Jen and I'm a nymph in this show. I play the role of someone that tries to like distract the main character and make them sleep. Well, my name is Brandon Jax, but I like to be referred to as B Jax and I am Groupie 5, but actually I am part of the ensemble. Well, Jane is narrating it and telling a story about how she had to write a term paper and she had to go over all these obstacles like like uh, her dreaming and the nymphs of slumber and all this other stuff. It's like takes place in her bedroom and like all the other cast members are like furniture in her room and she reads a story about something that happened in her life. In this case, it was about writing an essay. How is this play different compared to other plays you've been in? All right, so this show is something that's called Devised Theater. So it's basically the cast and crew decides everything that goes on, and the director, I mean, she supervises, but it's mainly us. This one's a little, uh, it's, it's a lot different, actually. It's, it's narrated <laughs> by this girl, and she just, like, loves herself. Most leads don't love themselves. <laughs> this one does. Um. <clears throat> Well, this, like, this play doesn't really have many crew parts because it's like, there's no furniture because like the people are the furniture. Oh, yeah, so there's really, there's really nothing for crew to do for this play except to open the curtain <laughs> and close <Yay>. it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, we're backstage rooting them on. Yeah. Everyone loves crew. Um, what is your favorite part of the play? Hmm, probably the opening. Probably when I push over Norman. <laughs> it's my favorite part. Who is playing Norman? Sean Veth. <laughs> okay, I love the part where it's like a gospel revival and it's all Southern ba Baptist, I think. It's fun. It's interesting. <laughs> There's like a scene at the very end. They do like a gospel like praise thingy and it's fun. What are your rehearsals like? How many times do you go a week? Like, Okay, so they're two days a week, Monday and Wednesday, from like six to eight. And we're required to be at all of them, so... It's a lot. They're two hours or so, and they're fun. We have a blast. <laughs> um, I've always been involved in drama, so I just, I always do it. <laughs> I've been in the drama club since freshman year, and I've just loved it every year. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I've been doing musical theater since I was like six, so I just tried out. <laughs> I wanted to see what drama club was like. Do you like it so far? Of course. Keep a lookout for new information on the winter musical posted in the music hallway. Titan Market, run by the DECA Club at PHS, is open for business and constantly awaiting new customers. Here's a rundown of Titan Market and the club that keeps it fully functional. 
All right, uh, my name is Bonnie Pajic. I'm in the 11th grade, and I'm one of the two marketing communications officers for DECA. The other one's Kristen Capuzzo, who's also a junior. Um, basically, what we do for DECA is we make the publicity. So the posters that you see in the hallway, all those sort of things, um, that's what me and Kristen make and what the other officers make. Um, I do the school store every period, too, along with Sean Sanker this year. Um, basically, what we do is we sell cookies. We sell you know novelty items like erasers and stuff. Eventually, we're going to be selling, hopefully, hoodies and drawstring bags, that sort of thing. Um, but our biggest seller definitely is the cookies. You can get two for $1.50, um, and we'll sell a couple dozen a day, if not more than that, as well as doing the cart after school. Some people who stay after school have seen that. Um, any member of DECA can basically come in uh, and take Miss Gates's cart full of you know, food items and other stuff, go downstairs near the cafeteria and try to sell it to people. That also brings in a lot of money. All the money from the school store and from the cart all goes towards paying for membership costs for DECA. And for anyone who doesn't know what DECA is, it's basically a business marketing um, sort of club where you do competitions. We end up going to Boston. Last year, the international competition, which three Pembroke students went to, was in Atlanta. I actually went to that. It was a really great experience. Working in the school store for two years now, the same amount of time that I've been in DECA, and the only reason I work in the school store is to help other people fund their way to the DECA events because some people just don't have enough money in their families and they can't afford to go to the trips. And so I have a free period, might as well work to the school store, and so I do. And it's fun and I make cookies, wear the little blue gloves, go around, shove the trays in, oh, 15 minutes to go. Everyone gets really excited for the cookies. It's a fun time. I really like it. Keep a lookout on the third floor for when Titan Market is open. MJ Baird once again is taking us through the hallways to find out more about our students and what their plans are for Halloween. From costumes, candy preferences, to what movies scare our PHS students. Alright, we're in the halls of PHS. A little uh, lonely out here today, but you know, it's a little creepy. It's the Halloween season. Everybody's getting in the, getting their juices flowing in the vibes. Tim, how you doing? I'm pretty good, thanks, MJ. You excited for Halloween this year? I am. I'm very excited. What's your favorite Halloween candy when you go out trick or treat and come home? What's your favorite to open and eat? Uh, Hershey's chocolate every single day. Ooh, Hershey's. Haven't heard that one yet, but you know, it's very classic and everybody loves Hershey's. How can you not? Yeah, I know, right? All right, how about your least favorite candy? Something you don't like to eat, you just want to give it away or throw it away? Probably going to get hated for this, but candy corn. Candy corn, second we've heard of that now, you know. People say that, some say they love it, some say they hate it. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. Yeah, I know what you mean. Andy, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Mm, gummy bears. What do you like about gummy bears? They're gummy. <laughs> awesome. How about your least favorite candy? <laughs> Butterfingers. So after you go trick-or-treat and come home, sort out your candy, Butterfingers, definitely throw those away? Yep. Cam, Halloween's coming up on us soon. It'll be here next week, week, week after that. Uh... What's your favorite Halloween candy that you get when you're trick-or-treating? Uh, I'm a big fan of candy corn. Candy corn, good old-fashioned, good stuff. Very addicting, too. Mm -hmm. it, com it comes in big packages, so like, right. it's just an attribute to uh, Halloween and just the entire holiday itself. Exactly, exactly. How about least favorite candy? When you get home, you know, you want to throw it out mm -hmm. or give it away to somebody else? Uh, well, sometimes, you know, jelly beans, some of the bad flavors in there. Right, right. You know, just, you, you don't want them, you just want the good flavors. You right, know? exactly. It's like, it's, it's hit or miss with the gummy, with the uh, jelly beans. Exactly. All right, I'm here with Miss Walls, amazing English teacher here at Pembroke High School. Oh, thank you. How you doing today, Miss Walls? Good, how are you, MJ? I'm good, thank you. Good. Uh, the Halloween season's upon us, Halloween, the holidays right around the corner. What is your favorite Halloween candy? I would have to say Milky Ways. Milky Ways, good stuff. The mm -hmm. creamy middle and everything. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Caramel all over the place, it's great. Mm -hmm. All right, least favorite candy? Oh, absolutely candy corn. It is disgusting, it doesn't taste like anything, and it just tastes like sugar, which is gross. Yeah, it, it gets uh, gets in your teeth all the time, yeah, too. It's kind it of does. annoying. It's disgusting. All right, Halloween's coming up on us right around the corner, Max. Uh, what are you thinking for your favorite Halloween candy? What do you like the most? My favorite candy would have to be some Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers, good stuff, you know. Creamy middle, real good. Delicious chocolate. I love it. Exactly. All right, how about a least favorite candy? Something you want to give away to your sister? I'd probably give her an apple, just to be like one of those guys, you know? They give out some fruit on Halloween. Right, nobody likes people that give out the fruit anyway. You get egged. <laughs> Sam, what's your favorite kind of Halloween candy? I gotta say, Reese's. They're just the best all around. Reese's, everywhere. original Reese's. They're the best they can get. All right, how about your least favorite candy? Oof, least favorite candy. I really don't like the, that, the stuff with coconuts in it. 
Oh, man. Almond Joy? Almond Joys. Those are <laughs> Almond Joys. Nobody likes those. I feel like only parents like those. You're, you're, you're mm. completely right. Okay. Um, how about a favorite Halloween costume? Like, if you're going to go out trick-or-treating or if you're having a Halloween party, what would you, uh, what would you wear? Uh, I'd probably go in, like, the kids' aisle at, like, It's Party or something, and, like, they got, like, a nice superhero costume. Okay. I'm meant for 12-year-olds, you know, <laughs> like a tiny, like, shield made of Captain America or something. Right, I'd throw that right. on. And I'll just be like, you know, that, why is that kid wearing a kid's costume? But it'll just, like, grab attention. Like, exactly, exactly. Sounds good. What's your favorite Halloween costume if you had to dress up this year? Good witch. <laughs> You'd want to be a good witch. Specifically, any particular witch? Glenda. She's a real good witch. Um, probably a Bruins player or some kind of, like, all my hockey equipment just because I'm not cool. Diehard hockey fan? Oh, yeah. All right, thanks, Tim. No problem. All right, um, if you were going to go out trick-or-treating this year, what would you think you'd wear? What is your costume? Oh, if I was uh, trick-or-treating, I'd have to go as a robot, just do a bunch of cardboard boxes, tinfoil, right. do a dance. Good old-fashioned made-at-home costume. Exactly. Exactly. Cheap and entertaining. I would wear a t-shirt that said life and then give people lemons. Oh, wow. That's actually a really smart idea. I've that never thought costume. of that. Yep, that's, absolutely. That's great. Very original, too. <laughs> um, I would dress like probably a bunny. A so bunny? A the bunny. ears and everything? Yeah, the ears and everything, just so I can bring people joy, but for the different holiday. Like, it's like Easter. Right. But it's on Halloween. Right. Sounds good. A little yeah. mix and match there. Yeah. All right. And how about last thing? A scary movie or a Halloween movie you like to watch around this time of the year? Oh, my favorite scary movie would have to be The Human Centipede. Human it's Centipede. Frightening. It is frightening. Scary movie. Ooh. Uh, scream. Scream. Good movie. Classic. Thanks, Sam. No problem. Um, it's absolutely hocus pocus because it's scary, but not too scary. And other than that, I will not watch horror movies because they're terrifying. <laughs> right. All right. Thank you, Miss Walsh. You're very welcome. Okay. How about a scary movie or TV show that you like to watch around the holidays? I don't watch scary movies around the holidays. Okay. The Halloween holiday. American Horror Story. Uh, around this time, I really like The Walking Dead. You know, it's a great flick. Uh, I've been watching since the beginning my father. You know, it's just... Uh, it's a good time to watch that show. Good. Thanks, Cam. Yep. That does it for this episode of Titan TV News. You can watch this episode and others at 5.30 or 9.30 at night. Check out our YouTube channel also. Have a safe and happy Halloween, Pembroke. This is Nicole White signing off.